Uh, John Heilman, I think we're facing some journalistic uh, challenges in discussing the president's new slogan, get rid of the ballots, because there's that problem of as we talk about it, we are making it sound possible to Trump supporters who might not have considered it before. We're helping in some ways to deliver that message to Trump supporters, uh, even as we try to dismantle uh, what what the president is saying he can do and show where where the strengths are in the actual governing resistance against this possibility. Yeah, Lawrence, I mean, I, I hear that kind of thing all the time. You know, people say, well, don't give many ideas. Trust me, I, I might you, you can't get have a lower opinion of Donald Trump's uh, intellect and creativity than my opinion of it. But I do know that the one thing is as dumb as he is and, and as uncreative as he is, that he's very, very interested in keeping hold of power. And he's been sending the message long enough that he plans to try to steal this election. And he's saying it very directly. He's telling us exactly how he plans to do it, um, that, that we should all assume that uh, given the, the coterie of enablers that, have, that he's surrounded himself with, some of those people are very smart and they're very creative and they're very ruthless. People like Bill Barr and others who work on his campaign, they are thinking about every angle. There's nothing that we could say on television that's not occurred to Donald Trump and his coterie of enablers and fixers and, and the hacks around him who are trying to figure out all the all the ways, all the nefarious ways they can go about stealing this election. And I just think that if you're gonna if this is going to be a battle in the post-election period, a legal battle, a political battle, a battle of public opinion, a battle that potentially uh, will involve people protesting in the streets. I think it's better for those who care about free and fair elections to have as clear a vision of what might happen in all of its ugliness so that they go into this battle for the principle of free and fair elections. They go in armed, intellectually armed, I mean, armed with awareness of just how far this president will go. I think there's a better chance of us having, in the end, a free, fair and and an accurate outcome of the election if the people who are fighting for it know what they're up against.